Hello friends and listeners, uh, this is Easily Please 23 and I'd like to thank you for clicking on the video. And I am going to be talking about the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer that I just witnessed and really what I think about it. Uh, a lot of people are actually focusing on how that has 461,922 dislikes at this moment. It has more dislikes than likes and there's probably a pretty good reason for that but I'll get to that in a minute. So, what does Infinite Warfare have in store for us, at least? At least according to the trailer. So, the trailer itself, uh, from past experiences, there was, from Advanced Warfare, there was a focus on power armor, leaping around and things. Infinite Warfare seems to, there wasn't a focus on power armor in the trailer. So, I don't know if that's a thing anymore. And then all of the enemies and things in there, they didn't have power armor either. So... I don't know. I don't know if power armor is the norm anymore. So they might be getting away from the power armor because they're going on their next like journey, which is outer space. That's right. Call of Duty is going into space because inside the trailer there is actually a space battle that is going on, which is fair. Which is really new for the series. It's really going to come down to is it going to be story only, or is it going to be on, or is there going to be an online component? Or other things as, you know, they, Call of Duty is trying to keep itself fresh. Because people are still going to suffer from the from franchise fatigue from just having a Call of Duty banged out every single year. So, this is called Infinite Warfare. Where, well, you go into space. It's like, because there was a focus where you jump in the ship and then you blast off into space. Now, my first thought after seeing the space battle, well, the clip of a supposed space battle was like, wow, that would this would be kind of funny if Call of Duty did a space battle better than the than the last Star Wars game that came out. Star Wars Battlefront that came out that had zero space battles. So there's that. I myself I think space is always a pretty good way to go because, you know, people like space and they like zero gravity stuff and things if they don't get disoriented by certain things maybe. But the hardcore Call of Duty fan, they may, or the hardcore Call of Duty guy who is just all about the guns and regular stuff and no gimmicks, I think Infinite Warfare may not be their cup of tea because they're just trying to appeal to a wider base, I think. Now, that brings me to really the, probably the focus of the dislikes that are on the video. Well, Infinite Warfare is not coming out by itself. No, it is not. Uh, the ever-weighted Modern Warfare remaster is finally going to appear. However, there's only one way to get it. You have to actually pay 80 bucks. You have to buy Infinite Warfare, and then you get a digital copy of Modern Warfare remastered. Which sucks, because you can't buy it separate. So now Call of Duty has pretty much opened themselves up to the whole okay, we are gonna we're gonna have technically two games on the on the way or two games happening at the same time. So there's going to be a I'll say there might be a slight strange thing. I don't know if numbers count for them server wise, because as you know, as as people who follow video games, you know, they keep track of like how many people are on what game at what time and all of this. And there was a whole debacle about how Battlefield 4 was beating Hardline and, you know, the past, or, or what a past game, their population is higher than the newer one because it's, because, I don't know, for various reasons. So, the focus here is going to be on Modern Warfare Remastered. Is that, are people going to buy Infinite Warfare <laughs> Legacy Edition? Yes, it's called Legacy Edition. For 80 bucks just to play Modern Warfare. That may be a possibility. It really is. Because Modern Warfare... The original Modern Warfare was really popular. And that's pretty much what set everybody off. I, I happen to like the game too. Uh, although, this one there's only going to be 10 maps. I thought there was more maps initially. Maybe they lost the rights to them or something. I, I don't know. Can you lose the rights to maps or or DLC or something, or maybe you could have DLC for Remastered Edition, or maybe they're going to have this weird thing where you buy the Season Pass for Infinite Warfare, and then you get the DLC maps of the readjusted Modern Warfare with it. You know, like they'll tie the DLC to each other, like how they tied these games to each other. The, the, the thing that I'm going to be 
really really focus to see is when everybody starts reporting back is like what are the numbers going to be when these two games are live is if it warfare is community going to be smaller than the modern warfare modern warfare uh community i guess i could call it is are their numbers going to be lower because they only would only have the casual people who have never seen call of duty 4 or are all the call of duty 4 remastered people are going to be like man fuck space screw future technology i'm going to go back to basics modern warfare 4 that's what modern warfare was initially called it, this is a very strange situation where, I'm, of course, we're not completely surprised that a remaster is here. We have, we've have we had remasters of, like, all the main games at this point with God of War and Gears of War and, and others, like Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry for some reason. So what is going to happen with Call of Duty in space? Is Call of Duty in space going to be just a gateway for people to get Modern Warfare? Is Modern Warfare going to be so popular that eventually they're going to be like, screw it, we'll just abandon Infinite Warfare and have people able to buy Modern Warfare by themselves? It's really going to come down to what is the popularity and what's what's going to happen to their wallet. Of course, if 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 uh, Activision makes a shitload of money off of this legacy pack, then every couple of games or two we may get a new remaster partnered with the freaking newest game oh and i have an idea how about how about call of duty caveman warfare if we're if we're going so deep into the space if we're going so far into the future that we're fighting in space we might as well just go so far in the past that we're hitting each other with sticks rocks spears fire and all that other stuff it'll be like far cry primal on a bigger scale and and like pointier <laughs> you could have pet saber tooths kill streaks <laughs> that kind of shit uh all right, that's enough for me. I just thought I'd report that in. This is Easily Please 23. I'd like to thank you all for listening. Thumbs up, give me just let's shoot for a like or two. Just just to be hey good. So what do you guys think of Call of Duty? Are you an avid Call of Duty player? Do you like the Call of Duty in space or their possible idea in space? Did you dislike the video? Why did you dislike the video? Are you going to buy the legacy edition just to get modern warfare? If so, drop the comment below and say drop a little something in there, huh? Yes, no? Alright, I'll see you guys on the next video. Check you later.